Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Soul Winning Motivator broadcast number 44. This is Daniel White the Third, President of Gospel Light Society International. As always, it is so good to be with you today to encourage you to witness for Christ. The simple purpose of this broadcast is to encourage you, exhort you, and uh, motivate you, if you will, to share your faith in Jesus Christ with those who are lost around you. Even though we will share some instructions on how to witness for the Lord from time to time, we believe that most Christians do not need to learn how to witness for the Lord. They need to go and do it. Just do it. So our aim is more motivational than instructional. However, we know that many young Christians need uh, to learn how to do it. And so we hope that we can encourage them in that area as well. Our soul winning passage from the Word of God today is Acts 4.31, which reads, And when they had prayed, the place was shaken where they were assembled together, and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost, and they spake the Word of God with boldness. Amen to the Word of God. Allow me to share with you some important insights regarding this passage from David Guzik's commentaries on the Bible. He goes on to say, They were given an earthquake as a unique emblem of God's pleasure. We don't know the extent of the shaking. It may have been confined to the house itself. They are filled with the Holy Spirit again. The idea that we are spirit-filled only at an experience known as the baptism of the Holy Spirit is wrong. Though there may be a wonderful and first yielding to the Spirit's power, we must be continually filled with the Holy Spirit and make our immersion in Him a constant experience. They received the boldness they asked for. The word boldness means lucid and daring statement. In the Greek, the word is parousia, telling it all. What we need to be doing is telling it all. When we try to hide some of God's work in our lives from others, we aren't walking in the boldness Jesus would have us walk in. Their boldness was a gift from God, received through prayer. It was not something that they tried to work up in themselves. It was done by the power of the Holy Spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, our soul winning quote today is from Mark Dever. He said, in our evangelism, we must be partners with the Holy Spirit, presenting the gospel, but relying on the Holy Spirit of God to do the true convicting and convincing and converting. Amen to that. Our soul winning devotional is part 27 of our series titled, What Evangelism Is? from Dave Early and David Willow. If you do not have a copy of their book, please get a copy. It will bless your heart. They go on to say, Evangelism is cooperating with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is essential in helping a saved person grow and serve. The work of the Holy Spirit does not end when a person gets saved. The Holy Spirit becomes our primary comforter and teacher as his life flows unhindered through us. He becomes our life changer. He is our spiritual gift giver. The Holy Spirit is the most important person in your spiritual life. Beyond that, he is described as our guide 
and power giver. In order to lead other people to Christ, we need the spiritual guidance and spiritual power given by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the most important person in your ministry life. The Holy Spirit partners with a believer in effectively sharing the gospel. I often ask witnessing Christians this question, they go on to say, how many of you have ever shared the gospel with a lost person and found yourself saying things that were clearer and more intelligent than you imagined you could? They always nod their heads and answer yes. Why? The Holy Spirit actively partners with us when we share the gospel. Effective evangelism is simply cooperating with him. Read carefully the Great Commission promise of Jesus in Matthew 28, 19, 19 and 20. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. Think about what Jesus is promising. He says that when we set our lives on making disciples of all types of people, he is with us in the process. The Bible tells us that Jesus is seated at the right hand of the Father in heaven. So how can he be with us when we fulfill the Great Commission? Jesus is with us in the person of the Holy Spirit. If you want to experience the presence of the Holy Spirit, witness for Christ and make disciples. Cooperate with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, ladies and gentlemen, they go on to say, wants people saved more than we do. He has supernatural power. We do not have to convict lost people of sin, righteousness, and judgment. The Holy Spirit is omniscient. He knows exactly what is going on in lost people's lives and thoughts as we are talking with them. Only the Holy Spirit has the power to regenerate a lost person into a new creation in Jesus Christ. Therefore, it only makes sense that if we hope to evangelize anyone effectively, we should rely on him. Effective evangelism is actively cooperating with the Holy Spirit as he works to open the eyes of lost people and bring them to God. When you share the gospel, the Holy Spirit gives you wisdom you did not know you had. He also gives you sensitivity you could not possibly have on your own. You can't convict or convince anyone, but the Holy Spirit can. You can't know everything that is going on in the other person's life or mind, but the Holy Spirit does. You can't save anyone, but the Holy Spirit can. Since the Holy Spirit plays such a key role in bringing a person to salvation, it behooves us to rely on his help. Ladies and gentlemen, in our next podcast or broadcast, we will continue to look at why evangelism is cooperating with the Holy Spirit of God. Holy Father God, we pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us of our sins, our failures and faults of trying to witness for you on our own and in the flesh. Lord, I pray that you would grant us the anointing and the unction and the presence, the power, the feeling of your Holy Spirit to witness to those who are lost around us. Open their blinded eyes and stop their deaf ears. And Lord, we pray that you would do the work and receive all glory to yourself. In Jesus Christ's name we pray and for his sake. Amen. Until next time, my beloved, Keep the soul winners fire.